Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we are talking about purling left-handed or with one hand, or if you only have the use of your right hand. Uh, right now, I'm going to tell you that the tools that I'm using are um, the my KB ergonomic um, loom hook. I like it because um, it goes all the way to the end of my hand, and I've got very large hands. I'm six foot one, so I've got very long hands. And um, I'm using a loom holder, and um, so it is holding it stable for me. So if you are using a table or something else, then you might need to weigh down the ends of your loom or something else to hold it. So I'm just attempting this with one hand, and I'm going to go both directions, and I'll show you how I'm doing it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but I've been asked by people who only have the use of one uh, arm uh, to show me how to show them how to do it. So um, I'm going to purl this stitch here to the left. Like let's say I'm purling to my left. Okay, so we're going clockwise. I'm going to put my um, pick down through the loop, and I'm going to kind of drag over my yarn, and I'm trying to make sure that my um, my hook is touching the plastic or the loom here. If you have a loom that's doable this way. And then I'm scooping up the yarn. Okay, now even if it splits it, I'm just barely getting part of that on there. And then I'm kind of using my pick to pop that up until I can grab it. And then I'm going to take the old loop off. Or I can use the, the pick to pop that off. And then I'm going to put the new loop on there. And then take my working strand and pull on it. So I just purled that one. Let's do it again. Go through and scoop it. I'm pushing on the plastic or whatever material and getting that loop. And let's pull it off with the hook or the pick, whatever you call it. And then put that loop back on and pull it. Now, um, I have my yarn hanging down below and it's heavy and, um, and it's attached to the ball. So it's giving a little bit of a weight. So if you need to put some kind of weight on it, if that helps you, then that might work for you. Okay, so let's do one more left-handed and then I'll go to the right. Okay, here we go. And scoop it up. And I only got one piece, so I'm just going to do that again. And I'm working with a yarn that splits easily, so this hopefully will demonstrate if you have a challenge. Okay, so we'll pop that off. Put one back on here and tighten it up. So that was all one-handed. Now, like I said, I've got a holder here. Let's try it with my right hand. Um, so take my left, I'm going to scoop it with my right and then I will actually show going to the right, but let's see how it works scooping it up that way. Now I'm right handed, so that worked much better for me. Okay. So if you have the use of your right hand, um, I'm just having to physically move my arm over to catch this yarn. But, um, let's say you hooked it on a few strands here to kind of help you then you could just loop it like this instead of having it lay there. Okay. So you could like hold the strand over here with a peg that's far away to kind of let it stay, you know, and, uh, and then that way it's sort of holding it for you and then you can scoop it. Okay. And then now I'm going to go uh, counterclockwise. So let's just use this as a turning peg. I'm going to come back around here like this. And first I'll do it with my right hand and then I'll do it with my left. Okay, so the yarn's down like this. I'm going to scoop it and pull it up. Okay, and I got a piece of another one, so I'm just going to come pull it till I get a loop. And then take that off and put it back on. And I think if you're doing this and you tend to catch some of these strands and stuff, you probably just want to learn how to do some blocking and it'll even some of your stitches out and it'll really help you if you have a problem with tension because blocking can help even up those stitches if you um, had a harder time. So it will fix a lot of those, what you may see as errors or something messy. So don't be afraid to, um, to have a, a gauge that's um, a little abnormal looking. Not everybody's perfect. No one's perfect, <laughs> but not everybody's knitting looks perfect. Uh, and uh, blocking really helps. So, okay, so I've done several right handed. Let's try it with my left. Okay, so we're just going to go this direction. And I'm going to kind of have to spin around here and grab this like that and scoop it up. And I missed it. 
So let's try it again. Let's go scoop it up. There, we got it. Pull it off. Put it back on. Pull that yarn. Let's try it again. Let's take this hook. Come like this. And pull it up. Okay. All right, so um, now you see how I'm, I'm doing this. Make sure you keep your stitches loose, and I think you'll have no problem trying to get them up through there. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me at Good Knit Kisses. Again, I'm your host, Kristen, and uh, thanks to Lion Brand for our nifty yarn here. Uh, this is um, Lion's Pride Wool Spun, brand new from Lion Brand. So thank you so much. Y'all have a great day, and happy looming. Bye-bye.